Hello, and welcome to another exciting edition of Charlie's Corner. Today we're going to be looking at Live Capture to Final Cut Pro. This is something that we do in the studios and sometimes out in the field on a laptop. Okay, the first thing you want to double check is to see if you are logged in to the Studio One account. This is important because we've set up special preferences that you'll see here in a minute uh, that um, that will keep people from having any problems. So uh, we found that when people use their own account, oftentimes the settings are different and you can never really predict what you're gonna get. So by having a Studio One and Studio Two login account, the preferences should theoretically stay the same most of the time. But as you'll see here, we're gonna double check a few of those things. It's important to note that we're using this uh, handy little data video uh, DAC 15 box as they call it. Um, basically it converts the analog component to uh, digital, basically sends the video down a firewire to the computer. Now the DAC 15 has several different functions, most of which we don't use, but you will want to make special note that um, both the 16-bit on the bottom row and the YUV on the top row are checked one of them is for audio and the other one is to select component video. If you take a look at the back you'll see a number of different connections. You'll see the three component cables there uh, but uh, most importantly you'll see the two firewire cables one of which goes to the computer and one of which sits on the counter most of the time until somebody comes along and plugs that into their hard drive. Now at this point it's probably a good idea to take a look at the system settings and make sure that your scratch disks are pointed to the correct spot and also that you have plenty of room for your show. Remember DV you're running about 6 gigs per half hour or about 13 maybe 12 and a half per hour. Okay next I would uh, check the user preferences and I would pay special attention to report drop frames during playback, abort ETT which stands for edit to tape and PTV, which stands for print to video on drop frames, and abort capture on drop frames. I would uncheck all of those just to be safe. If those are checked and Final Cut senses that it has a drop frame, which it seems to do often, it will stop your capture in the middle of your show. Now, open up the login capture window. A couple important things here. You'll notice that under clip settings, there's a place to put a check mark right beside video and under it audio. You'll want to make sure those are in fact checked. If you don't check audio for instance then you will not be capturing any audio even though you'll see it on the VU meters. The same goes for the video. If that is unchecked you will see video but you will in fact capture nothing. Click on the capture settings tab and double check and make sure that it's set to non-controllable device. This is important because if it's not set to non-controllable, it will actually look for a deck to control. If it looks for a deck to control, it will look for about a minute or so before it will then stop the capture. So very important, should be set to non-controllable device. It's a good idea to check the little box there that says preview. That will allow you to plug headphones into the back headphone jack of the computer and actually listen to what you're recording. This is important because you can be sure that you're not getting distortion or some other noise that you were not anticipating. VU meters don't always tell you the full story. So again, it's a good idea to have some headphones, plug it into the back. Now you'll also want to turn those down so that you don't have an echo from the headphones and your speakers, but it is a good way to, to double check and make sure that everything's working periodically through the show. Don't be alarmed if there's a little bit of delay from what you hear in your speakers and what you hear on your headphones in the computer. There's just a little bit of a time difference there, um, so don't worry about it. A couple more things that are worth mentioning. One is that you'll notice in the login capture window down at the bottom it will say no communication. That is in fact what you want. That does bug people sometimes because they feel that that is an error, but in fact that's what you want. That means it's not looking for a deck, the capture will not stop, and it will just take what you throw at it, which is your component video 
turned into digital video and recorded onto your hard drive. The other thing that you'll want to keep in mind is that as soon as you hit capture now, your VU meters unfortunately will stop on Final Cut Pro. I wish that they would continue because this would be helpful, but they will in fact stop. Don't worry about it. Well, that's just about it. Thanks for tuning in to another exciting edition of Charlie's Corner, and we'll see you next time. Remember, be safe.